Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do this delicate, beautiful granny stitch baby blanket. Now, the blanket that I've done, I've done it in a mixed pink yarn. I put a lighter pink over the edge. This yarn, I don't remember the makeup. Look at this, it's so pretty. You can do this in any colour. I'm going to do the sample. I'm going to do the sample with this King Cole Melody. This is a double knitting yarn. Now the tip for doing nice dainty stitches for baby blankets is use a thin yarn and a small hook. A thin yarn and a small hook. Now the ribbons, this little ribbon is a crocodile clip. You can unclip it and you can use it in the child's hair if you're doing this for a baby. I just picked one of my clusters on the edge of the two colours and I weaved in some ribbon all around it and I put, I cheated. I went on to Amazon and I bought four inch crocodile clip hair bows and I put that on there. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. It's a beautiful square. It's quite large. You can make it as big as you want it to be. I'm going to show you how to start the middle and how to work around and you'll make yours as big as you want it to be. So I'm going to fold this up and I'll show you how to do this stitch. There's two ways to start this. You can either do a chain of three, one, two, three, slip stitch to that first stitch that you've done. Just pull your yarn through and through again. And you're going to work into the middle of that little space. Or the easiest way I found is to do a magic circle. Have your yarn down your hand, wrap your yarn around, this is your working yarn, that's the end. Turn your hand around, put your hook under and just pull that yarn through. Take your fingers out and catch your working yarn and that you go a magic loop. It's just like a large slip knot. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. Now that chain of five is one double crochet and two chain. Into your magic circle you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two, one, two. Into the magic circle, you're going to do another granny cluster of three double crochets. So yarn over and in to the circle. Yarn over again, you'll come through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and one more. And that's your next cluster made. And that chain of two is your corner. We'll fix this one when we come right around. We need four clusters inside here. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and do another cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. If you're in the UK, these are treble crochets for you. Chain two, now what we're going to do is we've got three clusters. We're going to put two double crochets 
in here one and two because we're going to tighten our magic circle tighten it up and ta-da you end up with a square now remember we've done a chain of five what you're going to do is you're going to count one two three stitches and you're going to slip stitch put your yarn over and just pull through and that is going to complete your center square it will go square now i like to keep doing all my work to start each row inside a corner so i'm going to pull my stitch up a little bit it's going to let me go across into that corner there just slip stitch through and that keeps me right in the middle of that corner we're going to chain five one two three four five again that is going to be one double crochet and your two chain that double crochet will be the last one of your cluster in that corner so into the corner here you're going to put three double crochets one two and three you're going straight over to this corner no chains or anything go straight into here I found that if you do a chain in between your clusters it makes your blanket wavy now you saw at the beginning how big my blanket was and there was no waves in the blanket it kept its shape it was nice and square so into this corner you're going to put three double crochets one two three that's your cluster made from now on we'll call this a cluster chain two and do and do one more cluster into this corner it's one two three double crochets you're going to go straight over to this corner you're going to put one cluster two chain and one cluster into this corner just the same way we have here so do your three double crochets one two and three chain two one two and three double crochets one two and three and you're getting a nice little square you're going to move over to this corner and do the same two clusters so three double crochet two chain and your second cluster for the corner two and three now again remember we did a chain of five that is your third double crochet of your corner so into the corner space you're going to put two double crochets one and two then you're going to slip stitch into the third stitch in the chain count one two and three push your hook through pull your yarn through and pull through so that is your second round so for the third round again i'm going to pull my stitch up a little bit i'm going to slip stitch into this corner and slip it keeps me in the middle of the corner what it does is you don't get an ugly joining line up your blanket by keeping all your stitches when you join it in the corner so I'm going to chain five one two three four five 
one, two, three, four, and five. So again, that is your last stitch of this row. So in here, that's a double crochet and two chain. So now you need to do a cluster. So do your cluster, that's one, two, and three. You're going to go between these two clusters and make another cluster in there. One, two, and three. Into the corner, one cluster, two chain, and one cluster. That's one, two, three, two chain, one, two, and your next cluster. One, two, and three. So into the chain space between these two clusters, you're going to make your next cluster. One, two, and three. And this is what we have. It's going to take you to your next corner. So in the corner, one cluster, two chain, and one cluster. One, two and three two chain one two and one two and three stitches do your cluster into the next space into this space in between these two clusters you'll only ever make your clusters in these spaces one two and three. You'll move to the next corner. One, two and three. Chain two, one, two and do another cluster into the corner. One, two, and three. One cluster in to the space between these two. One, two, and three. We're back to the corner again. We're going to put two double crochets. One and two and then into the third stitch in the chain one, two and three you're going to slip stitch make your stitch bigger and into the chain space slip stitch that puts you right in the middle of that corner chain five, one, two, three, four, five and this is what we have we have our granny square growing nicely. Now, into here you'll do a cluster. You'll do a cluster into this space, one into this space, and then you'll be at a corner. You'll put one cluster, two chain, and one cluster. Now you can put three chains in the corner if you want to. Then you'll do a cluster, a cluster, then your corner one cluster, two chain and one cluster for your corner then a cluster here, a cluster here and do your corner a cluster, a cluster and you'll finish with two double crochets and then slip stitch to your chain for your next round so we're going to put a cluster into this corner just the one because we've got half of it done here one, two, and three. Do a cluster into the next space. One, two, and 
two, three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. So you're at the corner, one cluster, two chain, and one cluster. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and do your next cluster in your corner. You'll do a cluster in between each of these ones into the spaces and then you corner one cluster two chains and one cluster So we're doing our next corner, so it's one cluster, two chain and one cluster into the corner and you'll continue to do this granny square as big as you want it. So now we're at the last corner, we're going to put two treble crochets, one and two into the third stitch in your chain of five, one, two and three, you're going to slip stitch and that makes your next round complete. It will flatten, don't worry about it, it's just the yarn that I'm using. What you can also do if you want, you can pull your stitch larger and slip stitch in here chain five, one, two, three, four, five and then if you want you can turn your work it's up to you some people like to turn their work and some people don't so it's up to you each round you can turn your work and start working back the other direction but I don't, I think it's just as pretty done like this you can so it's up to you if you want to turn your work and come back the other direction like this you'll just do your cluster in here and work into each space or you can just continue to go around and around in the same direction it's up to you so what will happen with your square is you've got one here and then you've got your corners then you've got your corners again and you've got one cluster in between then you've got your corners again and you've got two clusters so your next round you'll have your corners and you'll have three clusters in between and you'll just continue around and around and around until your square is as big as you want it to be it's up to you if you want to put two or three chains in the corner. It just means you'll have bigger spaces here. I like two. It's a personal preference because it keeps all the spaces the same when you go around. And as you can see, you'll just keep going around and around and around. I'll find the middle. So there's my middle and I don't have any chains in between 
So I started with my little star in the middle and my four corners. Then I had one cluster, then two, then three as my square grows. You can see the way it's growing. And it doesn't matter. I didn't change the way I went. I kept going around and around the same way. So this side of the blanket is just as pretty as this side. But sometimes with a granny square, it's it's preference. You can either put three or two stitches in your corners. Now to finish off the blanket, what I did was I put one double crochet into every stitch. So I'll show you how to finish off your blanket. I'm going to do a chain of three. One, two and three. You don't need to do a chain of five this time because we're going to work sink we're going to work double crochets all the way along and we'll just slip stitch to that one. So into here we're going to put two double crochets, one and two. You're going to chain two and put three more double crochets into the corner. As if you were doing your clusters. Now we're going to put a double crochet into every stitch along. So make sure you start with that little stitch that's there. You're going to put one double crochet into every stitch along. We're not going to go into the chain space, we're just going to do the stitches. One double crochet into every stitch. All the way along your end. Now you can do lots of little granny squares this size if you want and sew them all together into a blanket. So one into here. Now we'll do our cluster just as normal in the corner. Your three treble, your three double crochets, one, two, and three. Your chain two, one, two. I'll move that out of the way so you can see what's going on. And three double crochets again into the corner. Now put one double crochet into each stitch. Make sure you start with that stitch right there. And one all the way around. And that's what you'll do all the way around your square. No matter how big you've made it. One double crochet into each stitch. That's no matter how big you've made your granny square. And you'll just continue like that around your blanket. When you get one stitch into each stitch all the way along, and when you get to the corner, put one cluster, two chain and one cluster into there, and then one stitch into the top of every stitch, one double crochet into every stitch along. You'll do your corner, one stitch into every stitch all the way along and then you'll just slip stitch into the top of this one to finish your blanket. You can do more than one of these rounds around your blanket if you want to do that. So when you're at the end, you're just going to slip stitch into the top chain of three 
of that first one that you did and that will complete your square. Now you can make it as big as you want it to be and there you go, you've got your little square. You can make these squares as small as you like, you can make them that size or you can make them absolutely huge like this one. You can make them really big like this one. And like I said, I just changed from that darker pink to a lighter pink and I've done one, two, three, four, five rows. I put a row of double crochet along the end and I threaded in some ribbon and I got my bow on Amazon. It's a crocodile clip hair bow and you get them in packs of two. You get them, you can buy lots and lots of them as a big set and you get two of each because I think it's for putting in a child's hair. It's really pretty. And that is how you do this beautiful granny blanket. I'm going to raise this up again so you can see it. I'll put my smaller one to the side. And that is how you do this beautiful blanket. Now, if you want to keep it dainty, just use a really small hook. And it will keep it nice and dainty like this just the same as that one so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial